coverage, community commitment. This is WSFA 12 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Valerie Lawson. And I'm Bob Howell. On the eve of the Alabama primaries, there are already questions over the legitimacy of one election. Secretary of State Nancy Worley sent out letters to all election officials, and some say one part of that memo is contrary to election laws. Sally Pitts has this Decision 2006 report. Secretary of State Nancy Worley is busy getting ready for the primaries, not only as the state's chief election officer, but also as a candidate for re-election. I am so pleased with the success we've had in this office, and I, I'm running on my record. But an employee in Worley's office, Ed Packard, who also happens to be her opponent in the Democratic primary, questions some of Worley's actions during her tenure. There is a necessity to provide new leadership in that office because of the many failings of the current Secretary of State. Packard says her latest mistake is this memo sent to election officials statewide. It says for registrars to accept all voter applications postmarked by May 27th. Packard says by law the cutoff date was the 26th. She either was not aware of what the regulation said or she was aware of it and disregarded it. According to Alabama's election law on registration, the boards of registrars shall not register any person as a qualified elector within 10 days prior to any election. Worley says the election is on June 6th, so if you look at your calendar and count back 10 days, that makes the cutoff date the 27th, not the 26th. People who get their applications filled out and processed in the mail by 10 days before the election that we're about making sure they get to vote. Packard says the memo has caused confusion and could lead people to doubt the legitimacy of the election. People could decide that, you know, uh, they want to file a post-election contest thinking that people who shouldn't have voted were able to vote. I certainly do not dignify my opponent's comments because you know, someone who's trying to attack you on every side must not have a plan, so. The legal department for the governor's office looked into the issue and says they have contacted the attorney general's office and the president of the probate judges association to get the word out that the memo Worley sent is wrong. Worley says she disagrees and is going forward with her department's attorney's recommendation. 